Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you lesson 4.4 from Sunlight and Weather. The title is Revisiting Sunlight Warming Earth's Surface. So we're going to continue talking about surfaces. And for today's lesson, I would like for you to please get a something to write on and something to write with. It could be any piece of paper that you can take and fold. One to two pieces will be great. That you can fold to create a book. We're going to be uh, creating a book at the end of the lesson. And something to write with. A pencil, a crayon, a marker. Anything that can help you write. Alright? So if you like, you can stop the presentation and go ahead and get what you need. So that we can continue the lesson. And I can give you new information. Alright. So let's begin. On our first activity, we're going to be discussing changes to the playground that we've been talking about throughout Chapter 4. And we are revisiting our Chapter 4 question, which is, Why is Woodlands Elementary School's playground always warmer during recess? So, in this presentation, the principals at Carver and Woodland Elementary Schools have some ideas for ways to change their playgrounds to make them more comfortable at recess. We're going to look at their ideas and decide which will be most helpful. Because remember that they sent us this letter for us to be able to help them out. So they want our ideas. They want our opinion. So as scientists, we're going to make observations and we're going to help them come up with, we're going to help them decide which are the best ideas. Are you ready? Let's begin. So here, if we look at this slide, it says, the students at Carver were too cold during morning recess. Remember, that was the problem. We will look at some ideas to make the playground warmer during morning recess. So here is the first idea. Let's think about what the changes are and if they will help students feel warmer during the morning recess. So what changes were different from the first picture? We're just looking right now. We're not coming up with solutions. So just look and look at that picture and look at this picture. It's the same playground, right? But they've made some changes. Okay, let's look at the next picture. Let's think about what the changes are and if they will help the students feel warmer. Okay, right now we're just observing. Let's look at the third idea. Let's think about what the changes are and if they will help the students feel warmer during morning recess. What's different? So now we're going to take a look at all three ideas. Which change will help Carver Elementary students feel warmer? Remember, we want them to feel warmer during the morning recess. They were, they were too cold. So let's take a look together and see what the changes are and with everything that we've learned, which will make them feel warmer. Idea number one, idea number two, or idea number three. Now I'm going to be listening as you're thinking out loud. to see which one you would pick. Remember, we want them to feel warmer. I hear some really good answers. Yes. Okay, so as we've learned, we know that if the surface is darker, it's going to feel warmer, right? Or hot. So in looking at the second idea and the third idea, any of those will help the playground feel warmer. 
right? Because the surface is darker, the trees will provide some shade, which will make it cooler. So in the, in the third one, it could be that if it's too hot, they can go under the tree, right? But they're not gonna be cold. They'll just be nice and warm. Or not too hot. Okay, so either the second idea or the third idea I think will work best. Don't you think so? Okay, now let's think about woodland. That's the woodland playground. And here the students were too hot, too hot during the afternoon recess. We will look at some ideas to make the playground cooler during the afternoon. So remember all those things that we learned about what makes a surface cooler? I want you to think about that when we look at the ideas of the principles, okay? So here, in the first idea, we're just looking. Remember, right now we're just looking. We're looking. Let's think about what the changes are and if they will help the students feel cooler during the afternoon. So just look at the changes. On the next picture, here we see some changes. I see the surface changed. You see that? I see it. Again, we want it to feel cooler. Here we see some other changes. Now we're gonna look at all three ideas together. So here, on the first one, they added trees. On the second one, the surface is pale. And on the third one, the surface is pale and has trees. With this one, I can see that they will all work. They're all good ideas. But then which would be the best idea? I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let you figure that out. What do you think would be the best idea? If there's someone around you or a stuffy that you want to share your idea with, you can go ahead and talk to them, or you can just talk to me. You know that I hear everything you say. I hear some wonderful ideas. Okay. So, we just looked at possible changes to the playgrounds. That could help the students feel feel warmer or cooler during recess. Remember that I show you how to do the exercises for cold, cool, warm, and hot? You wanna try that again with me? Okay, so remember that, look at the first picture, number one, you're gonna stand up, hands to your side, fingers are still, that's cold. Ready for cool? Okay, look at the girl in the picture. You're gonna put your hands forward and you're gonna wiggle them slowly, not fast, slowly. Okay, for warm, you're gonna wiggle them quickly, 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 right in front of you. All right. And then for hot, they're gonna go over your head and you're gonna wiggle them fast, fast, really fast, really fast, really fast. Good job, all right. Okay, so let's continue. So this is where we're going to start recording what we learned, but we're not doing the book yet. Just give me one more minute, all right? And then we'll get started with our book. So here, we're actually going to be thinking about the, our shared writing questions. So each time we learn something new, we can write to communicate our ideas. We will write about our suggestions for changes to the playground. So here are our two questions, and I'm just gonna move it to the next slide because it's the same questions. And it says, what is one change Carver's principal can make so that the playground is warmer during the morning recess? And the next question is, what is one change Woodland's principal can make so that the playground is cooler during the afternoon recess. I'll give you a minute to think about it before I give you my answer. There are different answers. I'm just picking one for each. 
I'll give you a minute to think about it. Okay? So, for Carver's principle, one change that can be done for the playground, um, it says, what, what is one change Carver's principle can make so that the playground is warmer during the morning recess? So, I said, you can make the playground surface a darker color because we have learned as a scientist that when the surface is darker, it's going to get warmer. And then for the next second question, what is one change Woodland's principle can make so that the playground is cooler during the afternoon recess? I came up with, I said, you can add trees to make shade on the playground because I know that when it's hot, I always look for a nice tree where I can go under the shade and it's gonna make me feel cooler and not so hot. All right, so now is when we're gonna get to create our book. So go ahead and get your piece of paper and something to write with. And we're going to create a book. Now, the first slide is not the book that we're making. It's just an example. So don't write anything yet until I tell you to do so. All right? Okay. So you're going to make a little book. Because remember that scientists draw and write to communicate what they have learned. We will write a mini book about warmer and cooler surfaces. So we're going to be talking about warmer and cooler surfaces. All right, now is when I need you to get your piece of paper and fold it in half. And here you see the title, Getting Warmer or Cooler at the Beach. I did the same thing, okay? I wrote the title, and now here you can write your name. I didn't write my name because then you're gonna copy my name. You're the author of your book, and I'm gonna be the author of my book. When I'm done, I will write my name. All right, so I'll give you a minute to go ahead and write getting warmer or cooler at the beach. Now, if I continue going and you haven't written all the words, remember that you can always have, you can always go back in the presentation and stop it so that you can write down the words that you missed. All right, so don't worry about it. You can always go back. That's a good thing about recording lessons. All right. So again, the title is Getting Warmer or Cooler at the Beach. And I'm, we're going to be looking at different words and different ways in which we can give information in our book. All right. Let's continue. We will look at each page of the mini book and talk about how we will complete the sentences to share our ideas. Then you'll write and draw in your mini book. So this is the beginning of our book, and I'm going to read what it says on page number one, right here. I am on the sand at the beach. The sand is warm. I am warm too. Where can I go get warmer or cooler? So on page number two, we see an umbrella with a shade and we see a rock right and the sun is shining on the beach on the umbrella and on the rock so all you have to do in the first two pages is actually yeah just write about where can i go get warmer or cooler so i am on the sand at the beach the sand is warm, I am warm too. Where can I go get warmer or cooler? Remember later you can go back, stop the recording and copy these words. On this page you're going to draw exactly what you see here. And it's just asking the question right now. That's all you're doing, you're just gonna do exactly what you see here, okay? And the next pages we're gonna answer those questions. So here, it says, color in the thermometer to show the person is warm. So we've learned 
that when the person is warm and in a thermometer, warm, the color is what? Yellow, yes, the color is yellow. Now, where could a person go to be in a warmer place? Where could the person go to be in a cooler place? So we've learned that if we want to get cooler, we're going to go under the shade. And if we want to get warmer, we're going to go into the surface, the darkest surface. And in looking here, the darkest surface would be the rock. Okay? So in your book, you are going to have one page that talks about the rock. So it says, the sun is shining on the rock. And now we're gonna fill in the, the words, just like when we do our sentence frames. So it says, the rock is, the word will be warmer, because it is dark. I can go to the rock to get hot. Let me say that again. The rock is warmer because it is dark. I can go to the rock to get hot. Awesome. So I already helped you answer that question. Let's go on to the next one. The shade is under the umbrella. The shade is under the umbrella. So let's go ahead and answer that. The shade is cooler because the sunlight is not getting there. I can go to the shade to get cool. Let's do that again. The shade is cooler because the sunlight is not getting there. I can go to the shade to get cool. You see how we use those words? I'm sure your book is going to look amazing. Remember, you don't have to finish it right now. You can go back, look at the recording, copy all the words, and create your own beautiful book. And if you want to take pictures and send them to me, please do so. I would love to hear from you and see all your wonderful books. All right. So we've come to the end of our lesson. In the next lesson, you will begin to think about more about how the weather in a place affects the people who live there. So that is going to be our next focus in Chapter 5. This is the last lesson for chapter four. Again, I have enjoyed spending time with you. You've learned so much today about dark and pale and surfaces and ideas on how to change temperatures. I am really excited to continue to teach you more about sunlight and weather. Take care of yourselves. We'll see each other soon. Bye-bye. Keep being awesome scientists. Have a great day.